So this video is about the relationships between the data tables. And specifically, these are tables that we brought in from Salesforce. So the first uh, video, we talked about how to bring in a Salesforce report, what that looks like, how to build the table. Uh, and these were all documented. And take a look in the notes, and you'll see links to the playlist videos. Uh, this one, the second video, talked about how to pull in a Salesforce object. And we built out a couple of fields. But now let's say we want to go to this, this case name field. Uh, and, I, you know, first thing I want you to notice was that we, we, we have this assessment number, assessment name uh, fields. And if we go out and look at, so there's, this is the report view. If we look at the data view, uh, this is just showing the, the, the what's, what's in the files. And if we click on any file, it'll show us kind of what the information is in that file and, and how many fields there are that we can look at. Um, but if we're looking at the relationships and the model, uh, what we can see here is, is that we have assessment number and assessment name and they're linked, but that case record is not currently linked. And so if I go here and I'm, I'm in, uh, this is the report and this one is the Salesforce object. If I click uh, on uh, the case name here, what that does is to show a name. Uh, because it's coming from the report that's linked because of these fields. If instead what I'm trying to do is to go in on case record name, it says, no, I can't do that. So we say, why not? It's because there's no relationship. And if we want to fix this, what we do is to say, all right, what's the, we can auto detect, but unfortunately we don't find anything, which is frustrating. So then we say, okay, let's manage the relationships. Now, manage relationships, clicking that button is the same as clicking this modeling tab relationship button. So there's plenty of ways to get to this screen. But what I want to do is to create a new relationship. And that relationship is going to go from the case record as the parent uh, to an assessment. And what I want to do is to say it's going to go from record ID. That's correct. Uh, what I'm going to do is, is, is actually, this is where you have to know your architecture a bit. I'm going to go out here to um, case record. Here it is. And uh, what I'm going to do is to say I want to have a, it's a, a one case record to many assessments. And it's just going to let it be one way single for a, a cross filter right now. There's plenty of videos on, on kind of what cross filters do, but let's, let's hold that for now. I'm going to say OK and create that relationship. I'm going to close here. And then what that means is that we're going to pick up uh, this visual is now going to automatically pop in with the correct information. So now we have this. It's coming from the case record because we linked them. Now, if we look out at the, the relationship model, uh, what we're seeing is, is that uh, and we had this other object we brought in called program. And sometimes you have to search a little bit within this uh, within the model to find these data tables. But let's, let's just think about program for a second because a case record is a, is a person uh, and they can be involved in multiple programs at an agency. And programs at an agency have multiple people participating, multiple case records uh, in, involved in different programs. So it's a, it's a complicated kind of relationship. And so for that reason, if you let Salesforce automatically figure it out, um, you may run into interesting reporting problems when you go back and actually try and 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 work with the data. Now, in, in for this one, right, we now know that when we work with, uh, we can actually say, all right, for this record though, what I can do is I can actually just bring in program from here because it's going to show where if I bring it in over here, uh, we're going to run into the same error problem. So anyway, that's a quick introduction. And, and now what I want to do is to talk a little about the query editor, because I think that'll make your life a whole lot easier as well. Um, thanks for watching and uh, uh, appreciate your time.